Hey guys, myself Rakesh. In this session, we are going to learn UiPath tutorial for beginners. Anyone who would like to learn UiPath from the scratch, this is the tutorial you should continue to follow. Without wasting any further time, let's understand what is RPA. So RPA actually an acronym for Robotic Process Automation. To understand this process automation and to be able to make a difference between the robotic process automation and normal robot that we have seen in a manufacturing industry. So let's slightly go back to 1950s to understand how the development of the physical robots have started and the job of the physical robot for example to paint a car right nowadays in the manufacturing industry for almost all different products that is manufactured today are mostly done by the robots. So let's go back to 1950s what I said this was actually started by an American inventor called George Devon designed the first automated manufacturing robot in 1950s however he was granted a patent in 1961 okay so almost 10 plus years after several years of development and the first manufacturing robot sold soon after to General Motors so now it is quite popular in the manufacturing industry but the same thing was not popular in the software industry or the IT industry. Now let's go back and understand what is that I am talking about in a software industry. So in a software industry, let's see a daily work life of an employee. Let's say the employee is a HR employee and she is getting multiple different documents. What is her job? Her job is to read the documents. For example, resume, the first name, last name, email address and the phone number let's say from the resume that people are sending it to the HR. After reading the details the HR would copy those let's say she is opening the PDF document on her computer. She will copy your name or copy your phone number and go to a different application paste it. Again copy your uh, email address and go to the application paste it and then she would schedule or she will send a meeting invite to you. So everything is done manually. Is there a way she is doing this every day, let's say 20 times or 30 times, there are 30 profiles, 40 profiles, 50 profiles and every day she is doing the same job. She is scheduling a job with different candidates after verifying the details, right? She is picking the data, writing, copying that data into an application and scheduling an appointment with the candidate. So this is a repetitive task. Can this be automated in a software industry or anybody? You know, nowadays the computer is being used everywhere. Every small business also has a computer and a software. So anywhere people are doing this repetitive task. This is just one classic example. But again, anywhere a repetitive task is done. That's where the robotic process automation comes into place. So what is this robotic process automation? Robotic process automation is a software technology to develop software robot so it's a, it is a software technology for example uipath is a software using uipath we can develop software robots that mimic how people interact with computers and software exactly how the person was reading the data and then writing the data to the application the same thing can be developed using a software technology called let's say uipath and we can develop a software robot a software robot not a physical robot right a software robot will be an application inside the computer right the moment she clicks on it it will automatically do the job she doesn't have to manually copy and paste the robot will do the entire job so that is known as a robotic process automation okay that's the definition now let's understand a little bit of history the history of rpa dates back to early 2000 as a growing technology by 2018 when it exploded its popularity Okay, company started under, undertaking digital transformation and RPA platform capabilities has improved. Okay, that is where since 2018 or so, or maybe much before that, that's where actually the RPA name has become very popular. And some of the um, uh, tools that are also have become popular, I'm going to show you that. So by now, you must have understood the difference between physical robot and a software robot physical robot is this and software robot is a software piece of software inside the computer okay so some of the rpa softwares one is your uipath which we are going to focus on in this 
UiPath tutorial and then automation anywhere blue prism microsoft power automate so likewise there are multiple different rpa tools today in the market okay so we will be focusing on uipath so let's move on to our next topic